Hey guys, what up? Um, <laughs> this this is crazy. The moment I've been waiting for this whole time. I finally get to play Five Nights at Freddy's 3, so. Oh man. Good night. And this is what happens when I record, when I go back. My whole family's here. <laughs> hey, hey, glad you came back for another night. I promise it'll be a lot this more new interesting guy? this time. We found some, some great new relics over the weekend, and we're out tracking down a new lead right now. So uh, let me just update you real quick, then you can get to work. Like the attraction opens in like a week. So we have to make sure everything works mm. and nothing catches on fire. Uh, when the place opens, people will come in at the opposite end of the building and work their way toward you and past you and out the exit. Uh, yeah, you've officially become part of the attraction. Uh, you'll be sorry as a security guard. So not only will you be monitoring the people on the camera as they pass through, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or makes out in the corner, but you'll also be a part of the show. It'll make it feel really authentic, I think. Uh, now let me tell you about what's new. We found another set of drawings, always nice, and a foxy head, which we think could be authentic. Then again, it might just be another crappy cosplay. And we found a desk fan, very old school, metal. <laughs> Watch the fingers. Uh, uh, right now the place is basically just, you know, flashing lights and fruity crops. Uh, I honestly thought we'd have more by now. Uh, if we don't have something really cool by next week, then we may have to suit you up in a furry suit and make you walk around saying, Whoa. <laughs> uh, but, you know, like I said, we're trying to track down a good lead right now. Uh, some guy who helped design one of the buildings says it was like an extra room that got boarded up or something like that. So we're going to take a peek and see what we can find. Uh, for now, just get comfortable with the new setup. Um, you can check the security cameras over to your right with the click of that blue button. Uh, you can toggle between the hall cams and the vent cam. Uh, then over to your far left, uh, you can flip up your maintenance panel. You know, use this to reboot any systems that may go offline. <laughs> I, I don't <laughs> so know any of this controls. Feel vintage, we may have overdone it a bit. <laughs> Some of this equipment is barely functional. Yeah, I wasn't Barely. joking about the fire. That's, that's, that's a real risk. Uh, the most important thing you want to watch for is the ventilation. Look, this place will give you the spooks, man. And if you let that ventilation go off wide, then you'll start seeing some crazy stuff, man. Keep that air flowing. Okay, keep an eye on things, and we'll try to have something new for you tomorrow night. Alright, that's what I love about every game of this. Um, it's always surprising, like... It doesn't tell you like use how to use all the controls. You have to figure it out on your own, which of course that wouldn't be realistic. And re if it was realistic, of course people tell you how to use the things. But I guess they do kind of in this. I don't know what I'm trying to say. So it looks like there's two maps. One's for the vents. One's for just cameras. Can't do anything really on these. And there's audio for something. Is it? I guess maybe it's to scare them. Oh, each one points what room? Ah. I don't know how first night's gonna go. Okay, it looks pretty peaceful. Oh man, this game. It's like Christmas, man. Oh, look at that, Freddy. Tell me that's not creepy now. So I don't know if it's like a pre-sequel to the pre-sequel because my brain can't handle that wow is this supposed to be six? Oh, there we go six yeah. seven. that sweet sound next night what am I supposed to do? walk down here there's blood tables? Am I crying or something? Is that purple Freddy? 
Where the hell am I going? I can't follow. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Oh my god, this game's scary. <laughs> hey man, okay, I have some awesome news for you. First of all, we bought awesome. the Vintage Audio Training Gazette. Dude, these are like prehistoric. I think they were like... I love how like... Or like other Dude, these are prehistoric. Like so, I thought we could like have them playing like over the speakers. As like over the, the speakers? It would then make this feel... Legit, man. Legit, but I have an even man. better surprise for you. And you're not gonna believe this. We gonna found be... one. I know, one. there's like a word uh, to describe uh, this guy, but like... Uh, well, well look, it, it's in there somewhere. I'm, I'm sure you'll see it. Okay, I'll leave you with some of this crazy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, 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 later, okay. Man. Um, what then? Uh, Am I supposed to look? Hello, hello. Uh, welcome to your new career as a performer slash entertainer for Fresh I don't know which one to close. Uh, these tapes will provide you with much needed information I know what I'm on how supposed to handle slash climb into slash climb out of mascot costumes. Right now we have two specially Whoa. designed suits that double as both animatronic Yo. and suits. That wasn't there before. Please pay close attention while learning how to operate these suits as accidents slash injuries slash death slash irreparable so dead. grotesque maiming can occur. First, we'll discuss I'm how so to operate dead. the mascots when they are in animatronic form. For ease of I'm so dead. animatronics are set to turn and walk towards sound ease. An easy and hands-free approach is this supposed to, to make sure the animatronics stay where the children are for maximum entertainment slash crowd pleasing value. What? Change the animatronics to I didn't do anything. Insert and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. Oh, I must have fixed it. Okay, I guess it's all good now. This is gonna take a while. Providing room to climb for, oh, never mind. Please make sure that spring locks are fastened tight to ensure the animatronic devices remain fixed. So am I supposed to close up every event? Remember to smile. You are the face of Brady Fazbear's I have no idea what I'm doing. Where are they? This is so confusing. What am I supposed to do? I I sure got just some. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Is anybody there? Ooh, nice arcade. Man, these cameras are really bad. Oh my god. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> I won't die. No more star. <gasps> Yo, I saw that. I saw. I saw something move across the screen. Am I hearing shit, bro? Yo, I saw. Right here. Right. Right there. Right in the middle of my screen. Something went left. Yo, yo, I don't want to play this game. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Ow, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, idiot. Oh, my ear. I forgot how big these headset is. Yo, I'm so dead, bro. I'm so dead. <laughs> Is that- <laughs> I'm fucking...
This is Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Are you fucking kidding me, man? <laughs> oh, just give me five minutes. Alright. Okay. Um. So, okay. This game is taken to a whole another level for me. Um, great game. Holy shit, that I got scared. Um, <laughs> Ooh, I, I could say, uh, this is gonna be a. I, I gotta say, these are gonna be some good videos of this game that I'm gonna be putting out. <laughs> Honestly, I wanna play more just now, but. I'm gonna record some more tomorrow, and I'm gonna be pretty excited about it. But those are really awesome, and I recommend you guys get it. It's a, it's a game that you guys should get. It. Like I'm not saying like you should, but like oh, it looks like a fun fun game, right? So, but yeah, other than that, um, I had fun. Hope you had fun watching, and um, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment. Also follow me on Twitter, Appetize Gamer, and. Uh, Ooh, this game, man. This game. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>